So picture this. In the heart of Wuhan, the capital of Hubei province, an empire is rising at a pace virtually unrivaled in human history. One year ago, this 12 square kilometer area was nothing but a sprawling, weed-choked lot, occupied by a few dilapidated industrial buildings. Today, it has been utterly transformed into a dense forest of steel and concrete, taking shape before one's eyes. Thousands upon thousands of orange-vested workers perpetually swarm the emerging skeletons of high-rise apartment blocks, office towers, schools, hospitals, and shopping centers. The air is choked with dusty clouds kicked up by the ceaseless synchronized choreography of excavators, front loaders, delivery trucks, freight elevators, and in the streams of cement mixers. This, my friends, is the Shin Qingxi Golden Phoenix City Development, an audacious $35 billion plan to build an entirely new city district from scratch in the heart of central China. Today, we will learn about the man responsible for these massive upgrades and China's secret to this incredible development craze. When complete in just a few short years, by 2025, it will provide modern housing for over 300,000 residents and workspace for tens of thousands more across nearly 200 buildings spanning a massive 4.8 million square meters of residential, commercial, and public space, covering an area so massive it will make your head spin. Now, meet Yu Hao Ming, the guy leading the charge. He's like the captain of a construction spaceship, navigating through the chaos with the steely determination of a man who's seen it all. Quote, We are making the dream of high quality, affordable home ownership and community living a reality for hundreds of thousands of people, explains Yu Hao Ming, the project's intense and driven chief construction manager. Quote, And we are making that dream come true at a rate, speed and scale that was simply unimaginable just a decade ago. Yu, a wiry man of 52 with the leathery tan of someone who spent most of his career on construction sites, should know. Over his 25-year career, he has managed and overseen some of the country's most astonishing construction achievements and feats of rapid urban development as China's cities underwent massive expansion. This includes the Angkor Mirabu Tower in Changsha, that shattered records by rocketing up 57 stories in an almost unbelievable 19 days of around-the-clock work back in 2015. But even with China's seeming disregard for standard construction timelines in recent decades, you admits the Golden Phoenix development represents an unrivaled test of their ability to marshal manpower, leverage cutting-edge construction techniques, and pull off staggering feats of logistics and planning. We're talking over 100 building crane towers, standing at perpendicular angles across the site, their gangly steel arms impertinently reaching upwards of 300 feet towards the heavens. I have nearly 30,000 workers rotating through this site, around the clock across multiple ships, you explains as we survey the organized chaos unfolding before us. They're basically building a small city in the time it takes most of us to decide what to have for lunch. Countless pieces of heavy machinery and construction equipment churn the terrain into an ever-evolving dust bowl punctuated by the seemingly random rise of buildings shooting up like bamboo shoots. Quote, Each day, we are putting into place enough materials and infrastructure to construct the equivalent of 8 to 10 physical 15-story residential buildings you might see in the West. And we are doing it with just a fraction of the labor force, resources, and time. Before we dive into the secrets of how this incredible feat is accomplished, be sure to subscribe to Mega Marvels for more amazing Mega Project content. And now, to the secret sauce. It's all about being ruthlessly efficient, like a well-oiled machine. The key to this breakneck pace, you explains, is a ruthlessly systematic and efficient assembly line process that combines cutting-edge prefabricated materials and modular designs with tightly choreographed delivery schedules and around-the-clock labor. It's an approach pioneered and continually refined by Chinese developers that's allowed the country to become the undisputed global leader in large-scale high-speed construction over the past two decades. At a massive staging area on the western edge of the construction site, Yu points out row after row of carefully stacked and organized prefabricated floor slabs, wall sections, window units, staircases, and even entire bathroom pods, sorted by project phase. 
These pre-built components are trucked in from factories across China and then ferried directly to their designated construction zones to be slotted into place by the forest of tower cranes and specialized drilling rigs at a staggering pace. Once the foundation is prepped, we can have the structural skeleton of a 20-story residential building erected in as little as 8 to 10 days use shouts over the incessant banging and clanking of steel beams being welded and bolted together by specialized crews. Once that skeleton is securely in place, we can then begin rapidly sliding those prefab components into position around it on a carefully synchronized schedule. An entire 300-unit apartment block that would typically take six to eight months to build from the ground up using traditional construction materials and methods can go up in as little as three to four weeks with this prefab accelerated approach, he explains. And then the process simply repeats across the site like a cross-firing series of motors on multiple parallel assembly lines, with new building sections perpetually springing up in a cascade of concrete and rebar. It's a self-perpetuating cycle of constant overlapping construction phases, says you. Clear relish and professional pride detectable beneath his rugged tan. As soon as one section tops out and gets the exterior panels and interior finishing, we are already breaking ground on laying foundations for the next phases. It's this accelerated pace of visible progress happening virtually around the clock that most outside observers find equally impressive as it is difficult to process. One aerial video of the Golden Phoenix site captured by drone camera went viral earlier this year as viewers watched a single 18-story apartment tower seemingly rise from the ground over just a few days. When I first saw that video, I thought it was using some kind of time-lapse or CGI effects, commented one incredulous viewer on social media. The idea that a building could just appear to sprout up like that almost out of nowhere in real time is both amazing and terrifying when you contemplate the sheer degree of frenzied activity happening underneath to make it possible. For you and his army of crane operators, steel fixers, masons, and semi-skilled construction battalions making up the bulk of the 30,000 workers, this is all a part of a precisely choreographed cycle unfolding with military-like coordination. While the dizzying speed of vertical growth may seem shocking and inexplicable to outside observers, he insists that the quality and safety are not being sacrificed through overambitious construction schedules. But here's the kicker. While the rest of us are still trying to wrap our heads around how they're pulling this off, Yu's team is making sure every bolt and every beam is up to snuff. They're not cutting corners, literally or figuratively, when it comes to quality and safety. Quote, we are building these homes and residences to extremely high national standards. You state matter-of-factly, almost sounding a bit weary of having to frequently reiterate this point. Quote, the prefab components go through rigorous structural testing. We have inspectors and engineers embedded across every work phase. Sloppy work or negligence is simply not an option on a project of this scale. He pulls out his smartphone to show me a series of on-site camera photos documenting the implementation of dense lattices of steel reinforcement rods, waterproof membranes, insulation panels, and other key infrastructure elements being installed within each building cluster. While the exteriors may be going up at a pace that seems inexplicable, he argues, the quality of the integrated systems within is exceeding code in most cases. The old way of building may have worked for a very long time but is incredibly wasteful and inefficient. We have evolved our methods to be smarter, faster, and ultimately stronger and more sustainable, Yu says. Is the process dizzying from the outside? Of course. But that's only because the rest of the world isn't used to seeing the future happen and fast forward. And yeah, sure, watching a building go up in real time might sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but for you and his crew, it's just another day at the office. Because when you're building the future, you don't have time to wait around. So, will the Qin Ching Shi Golden Phoenix City live up to its lofty goals? Let us know what you think in the comments below. But if the progress so far is anything to go by, we might just be looking at a blueprint for the cities of tomorrow, rising from the ground at warp speed. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to Mega Marvels. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.